Hey, it's Chris from Heat Show Products, and today we're going to take you through an easy step by step guide on how to install your heat shield armor. Stay tuned. All right, so some of the recommended tools for this utility knife, dust mask. A pair of safety glasses, but in this case, I'm gonna wear my own glasses. Some gloves. Tape measure. Something to write a template with. And obviously a pen. And a straight edge. And if you're going to be attaching the armor with our thermal ties, I definitely recommend a rolled pair of needle nose pliers and a pair of tin snips. So I said step by step and I meant it. We're gonna go right down our list of provided instructions. So check it out. The most important thing about this pipe, it's been sitting under your car for, I don't know how long, a long time, but it needs to be cleaned. So we're gonna take an alcohol wipe. You can use brake cleaner. You can use whatever you want but we're gonna wipe this pipe down because we do not want to hold any of the dirt, oil, gas, whatever's underneath there. We don't wanna hold that against the pipe when we put the armor on. Am I, are we rolling? Yep. Uh, all right, step two, safety glasses. I'm gonna use my normal glasses because it's really hard for me to see without them. These are some nice green gloves here. You choose whatever you want, but when you're handling the armor, this is definitely a must because you don't want to handle armor then touch your face it just would be sticky not sticky it's itchy all right for the next step i'm going to take our butcher paper i'm going to lay it on the pipe because i want to get a good idea of what the diameter is around it i'm going to mark it with a pen one mark here one mark here all right so now you got your template marked now you want to use a straight edge to make that line nice and straight when you put it on your template. We chose to put a piece of wood under here so we don't cut into our tabletop. Make your line, grab your utility knife, and you're just going to lightly cut. All right, so now you have your template. You're gonna go back around here. Always measure twice. And as you can see, we have a nice template on this pipe. All right, so you can see how the template is up there now, fits on the pipe. The one thing that we recommend is that you put a gap in the material to allow the pipe to breathe. A lot of you have questions about the gap, so let me explain it. The one thing about heat shield armor is that it will hold 1800 degrees constant. Metal starts to get soft around 1200 degrees. Now, in most cases, you're not gonna have an exhaust that runs over 1200 degrees, but you can't. So we recommend that you put at least a one inch gap into the material as you trim it. Okay, so let's cut the material. All right, so here's a piece of heat shield armor. I'm just gonna drop my template right on top here. I'm gonna try to save as much as I can. I'm going to make myself some marks. Then I'm going to use our straight edge. Cut the material. Now, one thing I will tell you is if you start on the outside of this and pull it through, if your blade is not sharp enough, you will tear the aluminum. So I like to poke in about a half an inch, pull back, then come back on this side and cut through the other side. That way, I have a nice clean cut. Same thing here for the corner. All right, so now we have our piece. It's ready to go on this pipe. As you can see, it came in, no gap. So now I'm gonna show you how to do the gap. We said we wanted to have at least a half an inch on either side, so let's measure that with our tape measure. 
can mark a half an inch using a pen. Wow. Either side, half an inch. So the next step is you're going to trim back the insulation. You're going to score the material basically. What I mean by that is you're going to lightly cut along the line, not cutting through the aluminum. You want the aluminum to fold over onto the insulating pad, creating a barrier. So again, I'm going to just lightly cut through here. I'm not pushing hard at all. You can start to feel the dimple on the aluminum. And you're just lightly going to do it. Then you're going to come back with your knife and just scrape the excess away. So what you're left with is a nice little edge. Again, lightly cut. Same as you did the sides, you're going to cut in a half an inch. So your finished product should look like this. And that's going to allow you to fold over the aluminum onto the insulation, creating a seal. And voila, all ends are sealed. And now we're going to fit it right onto the pipe. All right, so now we have the piece cut. We have the sides and ends sealed, so we're going to attach it to the pipe. The silica side goes onto the pipe. So here we go. You're going to just kind of form it down, making sure that you're tight, nice. And as you can see, there's our gap. All right, so the last step is securing this to your pipe. Now we recommend that you use our thermal ties, but you can use a high temperature wire or a hose clamp. So for a more in-depth insulation guide on our thermal ties, check out that video right there. So the thermal ties don't need to be tricky at all. Start it off of the insulation and you're just gonna roll it underneath, push it through. Finger tighten it up. Okay, so now that the thermal ties are finger tight, you're gonna grab your pair of needle nose. This is a rounded one, you can use a regular one. And you're gonna roll the material tight. All right, so now you have the two ties hanging down. You're gonna tear, take a pair of your tin snips and you're gonna cut this off with about a half an inch on either tab. So you're gonna take and fold it over onto itself like this. And smash it down. And that's gonna be a nice rolled edge. All right, so there you have it, finished heat shield armor. We really appreciate you watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe below and good luck on your projects. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, is it, is it recording? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Hey, it's Chris from Heat Shield Products. Or stay tuned. Need some tr ticks and tri tricks and tips? <laughs> hey, it <laughs> hey, it's Chris from Heat Shield.